What's going on guys? Random Andrew here. Welcome to a rather different random vlog. Today we're starting out on the banks of the Thames River. You know, I had actually recorded a nice little video explaining what we're about to do. And I uploaded it. Some of you may have caught it. It had zero audio in it. I don't know how it happened. But I'm thinking during the compression process I lost my audio. Not really sure how that works, but... I'll just tell you, instead of going back to that video, we are doing a Thames River trip. Clarence, his channel name is? Provincial Clodhopper. Provincial Clodhopper. He's got other videos from out here on the Thames before. You've done the entirety of it? Yes, I have. What we're doing today? That's what we're okay. starting to do today. But I have not. Except for I did not start here when I did it. Oh. We started in Delaware. Oh, you started in Delaware, so this is still a longer trip than yep. the biggest you've done on here. Yes, it is. All right, so there you go. We're doing the biggest Thames River trip either of us have ever done. That sounds good. I wore completely inappropriate stuff today. I'm in jeans, a black shirt, because for some reason I thought it was going to be chilly out in the morning. I was wrong. We're hoping for some good weather. Might be some rain. I'm going to do my best to record all the amazing stuff we're going to see and share it with you awesome people sitting at home watching. So join us. i got to start getting my boat ready and get it over where it's got to be. And he's doing his thing. And then we're on, the, we're on the road. We're on the river. As we say goodbye to the shores of London, Ontario, yeah. we are on our way. We're heading that way. We'll give you guys an update as soon as there's something to update. Well, we're coming into a little bit of rapids here. So I'm gonna have to make sure I put this away. I wanted to film that bridge. I have no idea where this bridge is located in London, but it's in London and it's a nice looking bridge. Okay, I'm putting the camera away. <laughs> I will at some point probably record some rapids just so you guys know, but I wanna just kind of get a better feel for it. This is my first time paddling this kind of conditions. I was just actually saying to this guy, this is the most current I've ever had to paddle in. Because every year I've gone to the French, it's been calm, the kettle's always calm, and this camera's gotta go away. Okay, I'll be back. The first of many leg stretches, quick stop to check something out. But if I'm gonna check it out, you guys need to check it out. He's already checked it out, so he's just sitting. But we are at the remains of the the original Springbank Dam, right? right? Have a look. I got a nice old structure and you can see the original dam wall. It's a damn mess. And as you can tell by the sirens, we're still very much in the city. And, you know, the shopping cart right there. But you can see it goes back. I'm sure if you came down to Springbank Park, you could check it out way more thoroughly. You could probably even climb right out across that if you want. Not that, but you could climb out across all this. I have no idea the history of the dam. We have no internet access ourselves right out here but maybe one of you guys might know that information or be able to google it and throw it in the comments section below the original springbank dam you just seen the remains and the dam house up there so if you guys know that information let us know we're gonna get back on the river i just thought it'd be cool to stop and get a nice controlled view rather than just a floating past kind of view westbound we go our first official leg stretching point. The last last place was just to check out the original dam. This is now considered an old dam too, but it's the newer dam and it's no longer used. As you can tell, we just floated right on through there. And let me tell you, gave me the willies, something fierce. 
I'm not exactly sure why it just did. But uh, yeah, we're just a little touch north, we'd say northwest of Storybook Gardens. Yep. Yeah. South Storybook Gardens is just up, up there. Yeah. Do you guys see all the little swimmers in here? It's kind of cool. Those little minnows, right? When we depart, we'll be heading out this way. It looks really overgrown from the water. Everything does. It's like they don't they don't trim it or keep it maintained, do they? Not too much. Oh, oh hang on, because you guys know Clarence does his own vlogs. Advised him on a camera, and this is what he got: an SX40 HS. And it's nice. It is nice. A flip out screen. It's got the full 1080p. I'm not sure what the megapixel is, but it's got good zoom on it too, 35. Yep. We'll have to work on getting your, your mics muffed. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, I think, yeah, you can probably just run an external mic if you really wanted. Yep, I can. Nice, okay, well, I'll let you vlog now. <laughs> Vlogging him? Well, he's vlogging. So it's like a multiple vlog. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. It's a little sketchy through there because it's really shallow to one side and decent the other way. Okay, we're approaching the bridge at Kilworth on the Thames, and I've been instructed to follow right behind Clarence, and I shouldn't hit no rocks. And that's a that's a no Clarence guarantee. Okay, we'll tuck right up behind his yak. Oh geez, this looks like it's gonna be a fun one. There we go, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at those waves coming off the bow. That's what it's all about. Oh, that's pretty fun. Oh yeah, I got water in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. Waves splashing off the bow and everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually got water in the boat that time.
vlog update. Stopped for lunch. We just went past Kilworth. You probably would have seen that on the Activion camera. Still unsure if I'm just going to edit all those into one big exciting part, make it look like a huge whitewater section, or just show it as it happens. But yeah, we wanted to stop, have a quick bite to eat, you know, kind of rest, give my poor butt cheeks a break from that seat. Yeah, you know, you think I'm used to sitting on a couch as much as I do, that I'd be no problem sitting in a canoe, but you sit different, right? Oh, yeah. You have to mount a couch cushion there or something. Lazy boy chair, get a whole recliner in there. <laughs> I like the camp chair idea though. Yeah, good stadium seat. Yeah, pretty, pretty good with that. Right now I'm looking at the current going downstream this way. And if you look on the far side, you can see the wind pushing ripples the other way. It looks pretty neat. But yeah, we came from those white... That's well, not really white water, but a little bit of rapids. Fun stuff. A couple big boulders that could uh, topple you if you go over them the wrong way. And then further on down that way to Delaware. And it's kind of funny. Two people vlogging the experience, video logging. He's got his phone going as well as the camera we showed you earlier. And we're kind of uh, interrupting each other in our segments. I'm used to it. Let's let you talk away in the background. I'll record my part. Yep. So watch out. You might get vlogged while you're vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to enjoy lunch, and then we're back on the river. We still got lots, lots of good times left to go. We're only on day one. <laughs> vlogging you vlogging. <laughs> Vlogception. I'm vlogging you vlogging. He's vlogging. We're all vlogging. Well, we're about halfway through. No, well over halfway through. Our, vi our adventure for today, which will be just before Muncie, yep. roughly around there between Delaware and Muncie, yep. which is a good distance to cover on the first day. We've hit quite a few sections of rapids so far. Can you get that little turtle on the... You guys want to... A random nature moment. That's a heck of a zoom. That guy's no bigger than the palm of your hand. Just a tiny little guy seeing lots of turtles like him. Would you call them soft shells? Yep. That's definitely another little soft shell turtle. Not like a taco. So yeah, random nature moments are always good. We've been seeing lots of pterodactyls flying down the river. Um, blue cranes? Blue herrings. Blue herrings. They're like kind of like a crane. Yeah. Yeah. Less More lifting. Like a pterodactyl, though. Less lifting capacity than a crane. <laughs> For yeah. sure. But no, it's it's a really good adventure. I don't see why more people don't take advantage of it. If you've got a nice big river like this in, the, in your area, especially Ontario, we've got a lot of big rivers: the Sauble, the Thames, uh, a bunch of other ones. But trust me, we got them. The Grand. Uh, you get further up Haven. towards Quebec, it's all rivers, and it's just it's great. So we may be actually starting a new thing as well, uh, where we want to start doing a lot of rivers. River from trips of Ontario. Source to sea. Yeah. You know, I know, uh, I'll see if I can actually mention Paul with Green Blue Earth, a YouTube channel, Green Blue Earth. Yes, if you're a long time subscriber, you know he's the one who inspired me to do the French River Paddle, and I did, twice. Uh, then there's also Ontario Parks. Um, I think his name's Alex, he's one of Paul's friends. They're both kayakers, both avid water people, campers. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing like uh, Alex does that. He goes to all the different parks, as many of the Ontario parks as he can. I think he's almost hit all of them by now. But this leads me, it's a good segue to say, to the next segment, we're announcing we wanna do a big river trip. We're gonna do the Thames with as many paddlers as we can get, as many campers. I'd like to see it just flood this whole waterway with boats, just like it would have been back in the day when this was a major transportation hub. Believe me, it was. Look it up. But yeah, to, to the point I'm saying, I don't know if it'll be within the end of this year or early next year, but as many as we can. If you're a YouTuber and you don't have a kayak, but you want to come out and join the adventure because it'd be great content, we can let you know where to get a hold of them, where to rent them or whatnot. We just really encourage you guys to come out and join us on the next big adventure. It'll be fun, right? 
I've, damn right, I've got a second kayak too, so anybody needs to borrow one. There you go. The hardest part is usually the, the logistics of getting them to the river and then back afterwards. So I actually that's, have access to two more too, so. But yeah, that's all things to be hammered out. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna have a little break. I think I might make a coffee, whatnot, have a late lunch, because late lunches are good. And then we're back on the river. So I got myself just sitting here parked, enjoying a granola bar, watching this guy cast out a couple lines at the tail end of these rapids here. And you know, I'm in a groovy little spot. Check this out. Nice shaded area. This is kind of like the washback area. It just kind of it took my boat and guided me here while I was sitting here eating my granola bar, and it's perfect. And then I found these. Look at those freaking pterodactyl footprints. I tell you what. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're the blue herring footprints. There's some over here too. But they look almost like some kind of prehistoric thing. There's a good shot of one right there. Cool. So I'm just going to sit here and observe these beautiful surroundings. Like, take a look at these rapids. It's got a low battery warning on this battery. So I'm kind of spacing out my filming. And then Clarence changing what he's got on his fishing line. Hoping for better luck. He hasn't caught anything yet. But when he does, We'll pull out a camera, I'm sure. Well, vlog fans, guess what? We have officially made it to Delaware. Hey, we're in Delaware. We're about to go underneath Highway 2. It's right down this way. The river meanders down and goes around the corner, and then Highway 2 is just around the corner. And then we got to start looking for somewhere to camp for the night after we're kind of at a Delaware area. We've covered a good deal of ground today. Let me tell you that. Well, ground? We've covered a good deal of water today. And it's been a pretty awesome journey so far. The bugs are just starting to come out now. So it might be time to break out the bug dope, the bug off, the bug spray. Clarence is just going up to the store right now to get a couple of things he needed. I forgot baking soda. I don't take, I can't take Tums. I can't take roll aids or any of the prescribed medications for my heartburn and it's it's worthy of having one of those prescriptions like it's bad but on the plus note i can take baking soda and water a half teaspoon of baking soda glass of water and down the hatch she goes next thing you know heartburn's gone and you let out a huge belch because the nature of heartburn being an acid baking soda neutralizes it turns into gas voila science lesson for the day so I'm going to dig out the bug spray because I'm getting bit. We have a little bit more paddling to do and when we get to where we're going, I'll have to update you guys once we're there. Cannon battery needs to be preserved for the rest of the night but I thought I'd capture this moment of going under the Delaware Bridge. Ooh, spooky. Not really, but seemed appropriate. See foundations from the old bridge. Okay, I got a paddle. So if you guys thought the last bridge was tall, we're currently, oh shoot, I got a paddle. Hang on. Give you more room there. Okay. Yeah, if you guys thought the last bridge was tall, we're currently going under the 402. Listen. There goes a the motorcycle. <laughs> and, side note, wild race. Along the Thames. Yeah. Oh, maybe you find more things in the Like, if you had to actually live off this river, you could do it. Sometimes we would be scared, especially if you're at a slow fishing day, but any time, at certain times of the year, you find your strawberry patches, your, or I mean your uh, raspberry patches, your wild rice, your leaves, stuff like that. You get all kinds of mussels, crayfish, 
regular fish, uh, turtles if you want it. Turtle soup. He's not joking. Serious. A little more fast moving water, a bit longer section than last time. This is where the fun happens. Traffic cone. <laughs> Here, see if we can't hold up a little bit and get Clarence in the shot here. Nice big rock right there. Another big rock. We we're actually closer to that than I wanted to be. Don't know if you guys could hear that or not. Clarence is just saying to his audience. A, a uh, kayaker, a rubber dinghy, and another canoe are way up ahead of us here. Pretty groovy. I've acquired a target. I must eliminate it from the river system. Oh, you're going after it? Yep. I was just going to do that too. <laughs> We're both chasing down the same target here. It's a Gatorade bottle. Out. I'll let you get this one. I hate seeing that crap. Yeah, it's kind of a little rule of thumb, guys. If you see a piece of garbage on the river and you can do whatever you can to get it, You do whatever you can to get it. How's it going? This is life, dude. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, I haven't really done much fishing. We're not doing a cold coffee. We're going all the way down to Lake St. Clair, so I got lots of time to fish. Big rock. Oh, ah, big rock. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sketchy. <laughs> we just missed a couple of big rocks sideways. Yeah. Some biggest. Like right there. Whoa, that was rough. Sorry guys. It's got me pinned. Come on, you can do this. I see 
an exit and I'm going for it. Come on, come right. Come right. Ah, oh, man, it's a really bad spot to be. That's off. Okay, here goes nothing. Right there. Right beside me. I was pinned. Okay. That, folks, was a tense moment. Well, folks, we ended up not being able to really find a decent campsite while we were on the river. And then at the last minute, right when it's like, here's when you get off the river, it's starting to get dark, time to call our quits for the night. Clarence spotted a little outing, a little jetty. Turns out it was the Sharon Creek runoff from the old Sharon Creek back in the days. I'm sure a lot of people locally will know the spot. It was famous for a rope swing. Anyhow, we found a killer campsite and you can't see it because guess what? It's dark out. <laughs> Hence the light and the crappy lighting and me squinting because it's really bright lighting so you can see me sort of. Check this out though. Master Chef Clarence has worked his magic. Look at those. Oh. I'm sorry vegetarians, but we meat eaters, we need to have our protein, and this is a dang good source of it. Shish kebabs on the fire. Good oh, job, yeah. buddy. Oh, Thank campfire you. smoke like mad. Oh, yeah. So we're going to munch out, and then we're going to crash so we can be up on the water early. We got coyotes. We got coyotes out here. <laughs> <laughs> we got coyotes. They won't shut up. No, we just hear him yipping. But anyhow, end of this night. See you guys in the morning.